understanding, you are advancing. In Jesus' name, I prophesy that in your standing, you are advancing. The narrow places are moving you into wide open spaces. I declare over you a fresh illumination of Christ in you. The hope of glory, I release strength to your frame in the places of weariness, and I prophesy the breath and wind of the Lord to fill every part of you. In Jesus' name, I decree that every assignment of the enemy that has come to discourage and reveal you is bound and breaking parliaments by the blood of the land. Thank you, Lord, that as we trust in you, you make us steadfast and courageous. Able to crush the works of the enemy yes. and place him under our feet. Yes. We praise you, Lord, for you are so good to us, faithful to lead and guide us into our pounded places. We now stand in you and step boldly into places you are calling us into. Amen. And how you give the Lord honors and will give you good mission. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your many blessings upon your people. And we thank you that as we give our offerings to you, Lord, we are believing you for jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, benefits, oh Lord. Settlement yes. commission, oh yes. Father. Yes. Favorable settlements upon your people. Hallelujah, yes. Jesus. Favorable settlements upon your people. Repaints and returns upon your people, oh Lord. Yes. Increase and in income yes. upon your people, oh Lord. Blessings and increase upon your cheerful givers. And we thank you, Lord, for your many blessings upon your people. They come in from different directions. And as they give, Lord, bless your people and bless their families, oh Lord, and bless their financials. In Jesus' name I pray. And all God's people say, Amen. Bibles there if you have and it says I will climb up to my watchtower Amen. and stand at my guard post yeah. there I will wait to see what the Lord says and how he will answer my complaint so you see before you start asking for answers we all got questions yeah. we all got questions asking God 
Why am I broken? Why am I going through this? I thought you were the God that saves me. Hallelujah. I thought you were merciful. Yes. Why do I have a broken family? Why do I have a broken heart? Why am I being treated this way? You see, the same questions that we ask, Habakkuk asked the same thing. He's a perfect example for you youth. Yeah. For you youth. And you know what surprised me? This chapter is based on youth. You know, the thing is, adults don't know what you go through. Yeah. Your parents don't know what you go through. Yeah. They don't know the times where you're in bed crying. They don't know. Because you always tend to fake a smile. Because you think that your parents don't understand. In a way, they don't. But God does. God does. And the way to answer that is, yes. I am able to stand and wait for the answer of God. You know, it's funny. It's funny. when um, Because this involves listening. It involves so much listening. And you know, um, it's hard for us kids to listen, especially when God speaks. Did you guys ever have like a real conversation with somebody where you listen? Where you listen to understand, not listen to try and reply back. Well, that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to listen. Yeah. Open our ears because when God speaks, Everything must be silent. Yes. Silent. When God speaks, that is your blessing. That is your blessing. That is your answer. Although we may, understand, we, we may not understand it, we just have to listen. Amen? Yeah. Is everyone on the same page as me? Yeah. Okay, say amen if you are. Yeah. Next question. Your next question will be, how can you wait for an answer? How can you wait for an answer? And the answer to that question is verse 3. And it says, wait patiently, for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. You know, most times when you wait for God to answer, you kind of avoid it. You start doing things where, you know what, I'm just going to go play a sport to keep it off my mind. You know what, I'm just going to listen to music, pretend like nothing's wrong. But the thing that God wants us to do is to pay attention to Him. Amen. When you are waiting for an answer, read His Word. Amen. When you are waiting for His answer, worship Him. Amen. When you are waiting for His answer, listen to Him and praise His holy name because that is exactly what you're supposed to do. When you pretend and avoid things that hurt you, it's not going to get any better. Amen. It's going to make things worse. Yes. Face your problem by facing God and telling him how you feel. That is your father telling you everything that you're supposed to know about. Wait for an answer. You How you wait, you pray. How you wait, you praise. How you wait, you just worship him. We worship him. Amen? Amen? If God's answer to you was not what you expected, such a nice question. <laughs> Tough question. Will I be disappointed? Mm. Why y'all laughing? You guys know that there's a time where you guys were disappointed when God told you something. Yeah. Mm, that's why you guys are laughing. Don't laugh at me. Laugh at yourself too. <laughs> Um, I think I would like to base that question on Habakkuk. There's this part where it said, where he was telling God and telling him how he feels, where he was saying, I trembled inside when I heard this. My lips quivered with fear. My legs gave way beneath me, and I shook in terror. I will, wait, I will wait quietly for the coming day when disaster will strike the people who invade us. So this part, because, um, Habakkuk was complaining to God about the Babylonians, how they were being treated bad, they were being treated unfairly, and he was telling God, he was complaining to God, I've been so faithful to you, why am I going through things like this? And, you know, there's a, there's a time in your life where you have your heart broken, and there's like this deep feeling where your chest just drops. And I'm pretty
pretty sure every youth has been there on that time where you never felt the lowest point in your life and you just broke it and you're just there. This is exactly what Habakkuk was feeling. He was feeling this exact way, but in that midst he was saying, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes me as sure-footed as a deer, able to tread upon the heights. So my answer to this question is that, yes, there will be times where I'll be disappointed. There will be times, because I'm human. Yeah. I'm human. Yeah. I am human. And humans are very sinful. Me and you, don't forget you. <laughs> Me and you. But anyways, you know, um, as I got closer with my relationship with God, he was teaching me how to trust. <clears throat> there were these times where I would beg God, telling him I wanted certain things. I'm not gonna say it because my dad's sitting right there, but it kind of involved the boy. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, don't look at me like that, I'm changed, you know it. Anyways, I remember on my knees, I was begging to God, like, I really want this guy. He's so good. He's so fine. <laughs> hey, why are you guys laughing? One of you guys are like that too. That was before, not now, because I love the Holy Spirit. Uh, listen to this girl. Jesus is my boyfriend. Hey, not like that. But anyways, continuing with um, what I was saying, there will be times where we are disappointed, but there are times where we question God, there are times where we doubt Him. But I'm here to tell you tonight, don't doubt Him. Don't question Him. Who are you to question the God that made you from dust? Who are you to judge when you're just human? Who are you? to question God and his ways. We proclaim that he's God, but then why do we doubt him? Why exactly? Because we want things that he doesn't give us? You know that um, when God doesn't allow you to have things that you want, he is protecting you for your own good. And when push comes to shove and you disobey, he allows that to hurt you so that way you can lean on him. Praise the Lord. Lean on him. Because at certain times when you go through rough times, God makes sure that you go through it. That way he, he, make you, he will make you realize that you need him all the time. That's why we, we go through things. That's why we go through disappointments. Because he wants you to lean on him. And yes, we may all get disappointed. We may all get... Then you must trust your God. Trust your Father to push you to, into ways that you may never see before. Thank you, Lord. And um, that's my answer. But. Yeah.